Breaking news. Tension as security operatives seals plateau assembly complex. We'll tell you what is going on. So, Plateau House of Assembly members stood with the people. I've sent a message to Muhammad Buhari that his voice is suddenly missing now that people are being killed. By the way, only the southeasterners in Plateau State, the record shows 238 people already being killed. This all started when some Fulanese apparently said they were traveling to Ondo State. So just like you say, you are going to south, but your face is actually headed towards the east. According to what we heard, some youths questioned them. And when they asked them to, because they carried some ambulances to show what they carried in the casket, the driver and the people tried to run away, which started a big fight. And some mem and some people were killed. Twenty-two Fulanese were actually killed. In fact, it turned something else because everywhere around the nation is as though that is the first time. Now, this is not to say disclaimer that we don't have any regard for life. No, we sympathize and we commiserate with families who have lost loved ones here and there. But we can see that, truly speaking, the government of Nigeria is highly nepotic in their approach and in their disposition towards Nigerians. Then the killing started. We saw that uh, an Islamic clergy made a statement on a video. So it's not a hearsay. It's not an allegation. It's not an alleged information that they were going to start killing Christians. And guess what? DSS has not invited, called, or questioned him as regards to the statement being made. People have been killed. In fact, states started evacuating students from JOS. The tension has built up. House of Assembly came up to say people of Plateau State should protect themselves, gave the governor ultimatum that they were going to impeach him, and they sent a strong message to Muhammad Buhari that he must speak up like he did when 22 Fulanese were killed. Now, the operative of DSS has gone there now to seal up the House of Assembly, saying that um, they are speaking anti-Buhari. Tensions rises. Tension is mounting around the Plateau State House of Assembly in Jos. Early hours of a Monday morning, after heavy joint security forces came in and sealed the complex for speaking against Buhari and for the statement being made that they will impeach the governor, who is saying nothing about the current killings going on in Plateau State. The House clerk, Mr. Pavu, who disclosed this to print Blue via telephone interview said the Joint Security Tax Force has been deployed from Abuja. The OC police in the house woke me up early hours of the morning telling me that the police headquarters in Jos have instructed him to seek for reinforcement. But he later told me that the even told me that event before him did not signify any cause for alarm. A heavy joint force security tax force has been deployed to the house. I'm on my way to the office to see things for myself. Blueprint reports that mixed feelings has been trailing the pronouncement of the house, calling the people to stand up and defend themselves and for calling Buhari nepotic and not speaking up when the killing started in Jos, but spoke when 22 Fulanese were killed. This has caused the presidency to rise up. So, you, I mean, my people, how do we really... How do we really defend what is really going on? Governor Otom speaks, yeah? They say he has spoken too much. Anybody speaks, they say the person has spoken too much. What is going on? Is it acceptable in any way, form or kind? The president has got nothing to say when things are happening in the nation. 22 Fulanese were killed. The president immediately raised the statement. In case you're not aware, President Muhammad Buhari has released a statement this morning saying that they will deal with all who are causing um, unrest in the country. But you know the funniest thing? The presidency does not, I repeat, address issues being caused by Fulanese. In fact, they are oblivion to it. They don't see it. They don't know it exists. Okay? They don't, I mean, they don't care whatever they do. But they face other people. They face the nation. They face Nigerians on events and things that happen. As soon as you speak against the occurrence of evil going on around you, you become the you become the suspect. Look at Sunday Boho for crying out loud. 
For goodness sake, that man's wife is in Germany and his family, his children. But he decided to come back home to support and to assist the people. And he saw what was going on in your state, his, his, his very own state, and felt, I cannot sit back and allow these things to happen. I can't sit back and allow my people to be killed and to be treated with disdain. I mean, farmers could not go to their farm. Women were being raped, to mention but a few. And he stood up for his people and said, this is not acceptable. Not knowing that very singular action he took was against the very government. He thought their, 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 what, their fundamental duty, number one on the list, was protection of lives and property. Before Sunday, Bo went ahead and pronounced Saki Fulani, uh, gave him the eviction. He has called on the state governor, governor. He has called on the federal government. Nobody seemed to take heed or pay attention to what was happening to the people. When he rose up to the occasion, the people were very happy and were grateful to God that for the first time in a long time, somebody was standing up for them. Because at this time, they have received the Fulanese with an open heart. You know, visitors come around, you are hospitable, and you have welcomed them into your fold, and you are very happy to receive them. However, they turn around and they become what? The very pain on you. And so this was what was going on. And guess what? The federal government turned vehemently on Sunday, Boho. How dare you give, um, you know, a eviction notice to Fulani? And the rest, they say, is history as we speak. Sunday Boho is in Benin Republic. So what exactly is going on? The House of Assembly in Plateau State stood for the people. They did not mix words. They are not trying to be politically correct. And they told the people that it's about time. It's about time for them to rise up and defend themselves. And they gave the governor an ultimatum. The government, the governor seemed not to be saying anything, unlike Governor Otom who will speak out against wrongdoing against his people. The governor seemed not to be very bothered, not to be very, very, I mean, actually concerned. And guess what? Before they could say Jack Robinson, the Speaker of the House was woken up with a call by the police commissioner in his state that um, order has come from above, that the, st that the house complex should be, should be sealed. Why? anti uh, speech. When you look at all that is happening in Nigeria, it's called the spirit of oppression. Now, with somebody, something is going on and somebody is being intimidated, is being pushed down and not allowed to speak, brought to a corner, it's called intimidation. So much so that you see what is wrong, you cannot even say. You become, you become numb. And when people begin to keep quiet on evil occurrences, you give it opportunity to breed the more. Leave us a comment. We sincerely love to hear from you. God bless you. Bye for now.